This is Richard Morley with Maple Systems. This video will cover quick buttons and multitask buttons. Quick buttons include navigation buttons and buttons that change the value of a bit or word register. These buttons can use true type fonts and multiple languages for labels. See the video about multi language function for more information. The button style can be changed between generic square, circle, rounded rectangle, invisible, user-defined images, and from picture library. The generic square can use many text border styles. These styles include raised, etched, bump, sunken, frame, none, and flat. These text border styles are only available when the button is set as generic square. If the feedback tag is enabled on a navigation button, the object will monitor a bit address and cause the object to appear as dictated by the appearance feedback tag off and appearance feedback tag on properties dependent on the state of the tag. Mapware 7000 provides four button objects that are used to change screens. When the operator presses one of these buttons, a new screen is immediately displayed or a pop-up screen appears. The following is a description of these buttons. The Go To Screen button can be configured to show any full size screens that have been created in the project. In this instance, screen 10 has already been created. When this button is pressed, the displayed screen will switch to the screen selected in the screen name field. Buttons have been placed on screens 1 and 10. The Go To Next Screen button is used to change the screen to the numerically next screen. Each screen is designated a number in the screen properties. When the Go To Next Screen button is placed on screen 10 and the button is pressed, the project will change to screen 11. When the Go To Next Screen button on screen 11 is pressed, the project will skip to the next screen with a higher value screen number that has been created in the project. Since there is no screen 12, the project will change to screen 13. The Go To Previous Screen button operates in the same fashion as the Go To Next Screen button, but the numeric order is reversed. When the Go To Previous Screen button placed on screen 13 is pressed, the project will change to screen 11 since there is no screen 12. When the Go To Previous Screen button on screen 11 is pressed, the project will change to screen 10. The Open Pop-Up Screen button is used to display a pop-up window that is configured in Mapware 7000. Only one pop-up can be displayed at one time. The pop-up screen numbers start at screen number 65001. The Set Bit button will set high the bit selected in the object properties. This can be used to start a function in the logic blocks. The reset bit will reset or clear the bit selected in the object properties. This can be used to stop a process being carried out by the HMC. The toggle bit button will set or clear the selected bit each time the button is pressed dependent on the current state. This can be used to both start and stop a process. The Write Value to Tag button will write a predefined constant value to the associated tag every time the button is pressed. The Add Value to Tag button is used to add a predefined constant to the target tag each time the button is pressed. The Subtract Value from Tag button performs a subtract function to a tag in the same manner as the Add Value to Tag button. The Add Tag B to Tag A button causes the HMC to read the current value of Tag B and then add this value to the current value of Tag A and place the sum back into Tag A. The Subtract Tag B from Tag A button performs a subtract function in the same manner as the Add Tag B to Tag A button. These objects can be used to increase or decrease values for functions such as conveyor speeds, ingredient amounts, or other system variables.
The multitask single state button is used to perform a set of predefined tasks whenever the button is pressed. See the video concerning tasks for more information. Selecting the task field will display the task configuration window. The multitask multi-state button is used to perform a set of predefined tasks whenever the button is pressed. The tasks performed depend on the state of the button when it is pressed. The state is determined by the value of the state properties tag. This button is very similar in operation to the multitask single state button, but each state can have a unique set of tasks. To configure the tasks, select the state properties collection field. The state properties window will appear. To allow multiple states for the object, click on add state. Up to 32 states can be defined for the object. Each state has an independent text, font, button style, button border, and task list. Click on the task list field to configure the tasks for the selected state. Whenever the button is pressed, the object performs the tasks for the current state. The HMC 7000 continuously monitors a target tag address to determine the state of the button. For more information about Maple Systems products and configuration, go to maplesystems.com.